Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly, it's her sister Lily. She was hooking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. The open arms. Oh my god! What is it? <gasps> it's... Crane. Person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know! What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... I just need to find Snow. Why? What's going on? Shit! Crane's been... <clears throat> oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine, okay? It's going to be fine. Crane might be following Snow. If I can find her, I can... God damn it! Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Big B. Wait. What? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just... please be careful. I know. No, you don't know. You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. Here, then, you were part of a very special circle. People she trusted and cared for. I won't, um, offend you by claiming one day that... that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as you that it will never subside. But I also know that... that the memory of Lily will sustain as well. And it will, in time, equal in strength to our mourning her loss. And it is in that spirit that I'd like to talk about I'll miss what worrying you've all about been you. so grateful to share I'll miss our fights. Your memories I'll miss her. you. How she could Holly. be stubborn and patient, rash and thoughtful. How she carried a torch now for you the will old never ways, die from indifference tradition, or lead a tedious um, life. Pageantry. Goodbye, sweetheart. And most of all, Thanks for it everything. seems how Vivian. really loved Dearly loved her friends and family. She loved being around them, 
You were a good big, times, bright, Andy. shining star. I never in met this Lily. Shithole of a town. What I've been told. I miss you already. I know in my heart Ran. that she would have liked to be here tonight. And now we'll have our um, moment of silence. Thank you. Bigby, is everything okay? No, not you. Holly, it's... He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Holly, settle down. I'll only take a minute. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? After you lie, and you say you need her for evidence? Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Big B gives a shit about this. Crane's a fucking prick, so this doesn't surprise me. Hey, what do you know? We actually agree on something. Big B cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here, anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I think I know who murdered your sister. Who? Maybe we should talk about this somewhere else? What? No, I deserve to know. I know, I... I know, but this isn't the way to go about this. I don't give a fuck about the way. I don't care about procedure. I came here to talk to Snow about this. No, screw that. My sister's dead, and I don't give a shit who she looked like when it happened. It's not about her. It's about Lily. Just tell us who it was. Okay, everyone, just stop. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat while everyone else gets back to the funeral. What? I'm not just gonna sit here Please, and- Please, I promise I will tell you what the hell is going on just as soon as I know there's something to tell, but just let us do our jobs first. Look, Holly, I know how this must- No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. I just want to get Lily's killer, Holly. Nothing more. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. Okay, you think you know who the killer is. What have you got? Crane murdered Lily. What? I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was, you know. The bed was covered in blood. I know it was him. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. I thought... I thought that Crane might be here. Out of some twisted respect or something. I don't know. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Supposing Crane would be the next step. Crane has been taking photos, Snow. Lots of photos. Photos that show him... He's been recording his visits with Lily. God. Look, let's go back to the business office. I doubt Crane's there at this hour, but we need to talk. And this isn't the place. Snow? Nerissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. 
I don't mean to be, um... No, I understand. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. How'd it go? At the motel? Did you find anything? I, uh... I did. It helped a lot. Thanks. Nerissa! Yeah, uh... Coming! Constable? Wait, wait, wait. Easy now, girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? What are you doing here? That is the question, isn't it? Or at least a question. I'm still hurting, you know, from our talk in the cell. And I'll be honest, I'd love nothing more than to carve a sweet poem right into your face for the suffering you've caused me. But I am a professional, and we're here for a job. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. Are you working for Crane? Did he send you? No, see now, you're already asking too many questions. Just pay attention. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours? Brother? You think this act you got going scares me? Cause it doesn't. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please! Rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that. It ain't any of your... What deal? I'm not making any deal with you. So just get the fuck out of here and leave these people alone. Nah. What did I tell you? What did I say? Ali? Think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. It's not worth it, Holly. They'll leave on their own. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually worm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. 
There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <clears throat> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. I can't take it easy. I have to... I have to find Crane. Bigby? What's wrong? Lack of sleep for one thing. Getting shot for another. He'll be fine. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived. So I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. I'll try to. All right then, very good. Business office. I know, I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. So, to recap... Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But I, I don't know. We don't have time to wait for the mirror. Crane could be getting on a train right now. Well, I don't want to just go running off into the night without some direction. What the hell is going on? Just... I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? He killed them. And he sent D and Dumb to slow me down. He's... he was a conniver, a... a coward, a liar, and I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly... I mean, even worse than it did. I just can't fucking stand that they got away. We'll catch up to them, Bigby. You did enough. Can I, um, ask you a question? It's kind of personal. And I don't want to offend you, but after tonight... Why? What's on your mind? It's just... When stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight... It feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know... Why even bring this up? I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, guys? We have a problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's, uh... It's not here. Buffkin, are you positive it's not here? Maybe it just slid under one of these cabinets. No, I'm sure it's not here. I checked every corner. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. The mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. What exactly is the hard way? We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can still solve this ourselves. I know Never that Never mind that. Come help me look.
Crane ever do any work? Only when Cole was around. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh, yeah? Bufkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what? What witch? What meeting? Well, he called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. I'm sure it's about this ring. They must have it. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me called to... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror, so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. What do you know about Crane, anyway? That he has the stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex-frightened serial killer and not face a real challenge. Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing! You're a secretary! He's the sheriff! And none of you were chosen to run this office! Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. <sighs> All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else? The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. Look, chances are I'll have to swing by both anyways. No, so... chances are you won't have time. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Bluebeard, just stay out of it, all right? You'll just mess things up further. I can't get any more messed up. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. 
and is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. Crane's place is right here. I should check that out first. Perfect. And I'll go to those two imbeciles' office. Crane's penthouse number is 1903. Let me know what you find. I hope you know what you're doing. Witch here. Math, science, history. If I had to guess, this shit didn't work. I've never seen him that excited. Guess things have changed. Because I love you. <sighs> Crooked man. This is all I could get. I'm afraid Snow will start to notice. I'll have the rest for you next week. Ichabod Crane. What's going on here?
Might be useful. Someone in there? Going somewhere? <gasps> well, I, I, uh... Jack? Wow. It is just unbelievable running into you here. I mean, of all the places... This weather, right? A little damp, I guess. But, you know, some people like that sort of thing. Explain yourself. Now! Okay, okay, okay. I know what it looks like, but before you go jump into conclusions, Crane pays me to water his plants when he's gone. It's a stipend. But you know I need the work. I wouldn't do it for free, right? You know me. So, anyways, uh, now that I'm done... I don't see any plants. Hey! Okay! You got me. Just take it easy. Don't make a big deal out of this. You better tell me why you're really here. Okay, okay. I heard Crane was leaving town. I figured he owed us little people a parting gift. Or just me a parting gift. You heard? I have my sources, okay? You see how he lives. He doesn't need any of this shit. Do you know where Crane is? Have you heard anything else about him? No. Should I have? What else do you want me to say? I got bills to pay. Not like Crane's gonna use any of this stuff. Did somebody send you and tell the truth? No, it's just me. Just take it easy. You know, this tortured, lonely pig-eater bit's gonna get old eventually. Don't you get tired of it? I mean, what are you even doing here? Are you just wandering around Crane's apartment? I'm investigating. Sure. Well, looks like you've got it covered. Anyway, it was really nice catching up with you. I mean that. Bigby, I believe you're, uh blocking the doorway there, if I could just, uh, squeeze through. You know, on second thought, it's actually funny I ran into you like this. I think I can help you out. What do you mean? You're looking for Crane, right? Well, I don't know where he is. But what if I told you I know who might know where he is? Word on the street says he's got a witch in the city. I can tell you who she is, if you're interested. Information comes at a price, though. How convenient. Convenient for you, Sheriff. I got the info you need. This is an easy win. Let's make ourselves a deal. I tell you about Crane's witch, and you forget you saw me here. One hand washes the other sort of thing. Wipe the whole incident under the rug. Come on. Fine. You got a deal. Perfect. Now tell me where I can find this witch. Strong grip. Her name is Auntie Greenleaf. Crane's been trying to keep it under wraps for years. If you're looking for Crane, she might know how to find him. I hope you're not lying to me, Jack. Scout's on her, Sheriff. Uh, th the thing is, I don't know where you'd find her, exactly. You gotta be fucking kidding me. But even a name is a good start, right? I mean, that's more than what you came in with. Right. I'll keep my eyes open for you. If I find anything else you might be interested in, I'll be sure to let you know. 
I think this arrangement can be beneficial to both of us down the line. Ugh. It was just lovely running into you, baby. Hang on a second. Oh, come on. The White Deer. Do you always talk to yourself like that? The witch uses the white deer on everything. It's her symbol or trademark, I guess. Figured I could sell these at the Lucky Pawn. The Lucky Pawn? It's one of the crooked man's places. I work there sometimes. When I need some stability. It's a pawn shop. Get it? Yeah, yeah. You find any more of these? Uh, no. You wanna try that again? That it? Take me? We're in here, Snow. We? Who else is... What's he doing here? Evening, Miss White. Good evening. What's going on? He's here to help. Jack had some information about Crane's witch. Oh. What did you find out? Her name is Greenleaf. Auntie Greenleaf. But he doesn't know where we can find her. Great. Crane's meeting her at 2 a.m. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fabled Town. Of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleazeball? Do you think this is tied to the murders? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter yet. I don't know. Maybe. Crane's meeting Greenleaf at 2 a.m. And we have no idea where she is. We're going to cut it close as it is. Wouldn't she be listed in the business office? I've had Buffkin searching for any unauthorized witches, but so far we haven't found anything. I'll give him the name, but we don't have time to wait around. You should try Holly's. She still has all of Lily's things. If she hasn't burned it already. There's still Tweedledee's place. We know they're involved. And we know that's where Bluebeard went. Where do you want to go? We don't have much time. I'll go pay the Tweedle brothers a visit. I'm sure they know something. Okay. I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Hang on, Jack. I want to talk to you. Oh no, I'm sorry, big guy. You can't come in. Yeah, yeah, because the thing is, and I don't know if you'd heard, but I'm a third degree black belt and, uh, you know, whatever. So I wouldn't take any chances, hombre. Last guy who messed with me got his marbles kicked right through his abdomen, all right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh. Hi, Sheriff. Flycatcher. What the hell happened? I'll have it cleaned up soon. I'm, I'm sorry. Bluebeard was here. He was looking for something. I don't know what. He said it was an official investigation. But how was I supposed to know if he was telling the truth? When I wouldn't let him in, he... Shit. He found what he was looking for, I guess. It's just super annoying. What did he take? I don't know what he wanted. I, I didn't see what he did after... I'm really sorry, Big B. Was he telling the truth? He said you sent him, but I don't know, I just thought he was lying. I'm not supposed to just let people in here, but then he got mad, saying, oh, just terrible things. <sighs> don't worry about it, Flycatcher. Oh, I'm gonna get fired. Crane already let me go from the woodlands. Is that why you're here? He said I just got in the way, told me to get lost. The twins offered me a job here working the night shift, so I'd have something. What do I do now? It's nice, you know, quiet. I come in and clean up. Well, Crane is gone now. I, I can't see why he couldn't come back to the woodlands. Really? That would be... thank you. Come by the business office. I can't make any promises. Right, of course. Look, I'm running out of time. Ah, oh, shit. 
Is everything okay? I gotta go. What? Where? I'm headed to the trip trap. Just, uh, just call Snow and tell her what's happened, okay? Can you do that for me? Okay, I, I guess. And I'll ask her about that job, all right? Sure, sure. Take care of yourself, Fly. You too, Sheriff Bigby. <laughs> She's asleep, you fucking idiot. We're closed. I need to talk to Holly. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Well, come on in, buddy. Brent, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Yeah. I'll only be here two minutes. I just need to check through Lily's things. <laughs> Whatever. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it with- You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Grant, really, you, you shouldn't drink right now. Swinehart told me that Holly was here. I need to talk to her. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? Well, the doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia. For the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep, like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. Have you seen her sister's things? What wasn't burned at the funeral? I saw her come in with something, but I didn't see where she put it. Nope, haven't seen it. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. Talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there help things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. Right now I couldn't give a shit what you think. No? No. Well, I can tell. Whatever. It's alright. I'm too out of it to get into it. I wanna clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. We're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, I... yeah, I know, I know. And I wanna help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with. I'm running out of time, Gren. Gren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, alright? I can't do anything about it, it's done! <laughs> <laughs> What more do you want? I absolutely cannot babysit you dumbasses right now. So end whatever this is, so we can just move past it. Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. 
this walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a lowlife. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay, because I'll tell you what he thinks. He thinks you have to pay chicks to touch your fat, hairy ass. That's what he thinks. I think whatever happened was between them, and Lily is dead. So let's put this whole thing to rest, Gray. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the rule. Thanks for the... Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. I guess. Did you care about her at all? She was a nice girl. Ran around too much. But a nice girl. I thought you were a friend. I don't know why you fucking came here. There's nothing left for you to ruin. And I'm not in an entertaining mood. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you found out the way you did. I'll make it up to you. Ah, sure you will, kid. When the rivers turn coarse and the sky bleeds fucking gypsies. Lily's funeral. It was just so fucked tonight. 
I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he, if he cares about it. If he even gives a shit. I don't know. I don't know why he showed up. He cares about this. About Lily. About Faith. I know he does. You think so? Yeah. Well, you know him better than anybody, so... Uh, I guess I'll take your word for it. If you were getting your glamour on this day, then one of these has to be the witch. Auntie Greenleaf. Gotcha. Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Snow? Oh, thank God. Tell me you found something. I got it, Snow. Her address was here with Lily's things. It's on, uh, White Plains Avenue, 1284. It's an apartment complex. Great. All right, let's go. I don't want to miss him. I'll meet you there. All right, I'll see you there. Big B! I just got here. Yeah, me too. It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. This is it. All right. How do you want to do this? Hear anything? If anyone's in there, they're being awfully quiet. <clears throat> Hello? Hi. You woke me up. Uh, sorry about that. Is something wrong? Who are you? Rachel, who are you? Just so... Well, I'm the sheriff, and this is my partner. Boss. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? Is there, um, is there anything you need? We're looking for a man, a skinny, pale, nervous fella. Have you seen him? My art teacher says men are a waste of time. Do you go to school? Sometimes. Is there... Uh, something you want? I don't think I can really help you. Snow, can you just do something here? I, I never have any idea what to say to these people. You mean children? <sighs> do you mind if my friend here takes a look around? I promise we'll be quick so you can hurry back to bed. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. Okay, boss. I'm gonna trust your friend not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. Look for anything unusual. Yeah, like Crane. He could still be here. That your mom? Uh-huh. Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. No accounting for taste. It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy. That's how we like it. Your mama hunter? Oh no, she never... That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain. I think. What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? Not here. There's no one here but me. No one 
Someone's been over all night, so... He's just going to check. It'll only take a moment. Nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? The Butcher. What's that? A package. Having to do with someone called the Butcher. It's empty. Shouldn't say that. Nothing. I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now, please? Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I tried. No, please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. I don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Look, I'm already grounded. I'm not going to break it. I just want to open it. No! Put it down! Please, don't! This isn't what you think! you got to believe it's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna, I don't wanna get in trouble. Ah! Auntie Greenleaf. It hurts when you do it that fast. You think we have time to waste on this shit? You think this is some kind of game? No, I don't. But congratulations on winning it, if that matters to you. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. Where's Crane? Speak quickly. I ain't a fortune teller, Wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew. You're an accomplice to murder. Do you realize that? You might want to check your facts on that. doesn't matter. I can't help you. I have no interest in being turned into a skink and crushed under boot heels. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something... You should be a lot more afraid of me than whatever horseshit you think will come back to bite you. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap. If she's afraid for her life, we can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! How dare dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the Fables, who can't afford the glamours from you, come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two Fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. Isn't there another way? She's a witch. Can't she just work for us? That way she'd be official. You want to reward her for criminal behavior? We can't trust this woman on the 13th floor. It doesn't matter, because I'd never do it. 
I'm not a house cat, and I don't play well with others. Oh, trust me, no one would confuse you for a cuddly animal. Bigby, this is an order. Burn the tree. No! Look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. He was here, and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girl's speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. I'm sorry, but we still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. Big B. Please, Sheriff. Don't. Today is your lucky day, Greenleaf. I'm hiring you as the business office's newest witch in residence. But Bigby! The witches over there will keep her out of trouble, and, and we have a glamour shortage as it is. It makes the most sense now. And you get to keep your fucking tree. Just don't expect me to bow down to your little woman here. Don't think for a second that this is over. Uh, so what? Are moving trucks gonna show up here or something? Something like that. We'll call you. No, it's nothing you need to concern yourself with. I don't think so, at least. Shit. Hold on. Oh, do you miss the spot? Mr. Clean, come to smash up the rest of my place. Oh, I see. Come to audition, you bitch. Ugh! Fucking fuck, man! Tell me what you know, now! You can't just go in there! We have a problem. Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! Mr. Crane, please! She can't help- I know you know what the plan is! I won't be held accountable for this! I can't! I can't! I'm sorry! I- Oh my god! Big B! Wait, don't! I-I-I didn't do anything! I promise you, I didn't do anything! These girls, the, the, the girls, they'll back me up. I just have to get this stupid ring working, that's all. They can't talk because of that spell. But once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on and this whole thing will be over. That's all. Please. I'm innocent. Completely, completely innocent. The ring won't work. Greenleaf sold you out. What? No. This will work. I assure you, it, it must. I, I went to you. Damn you, come on. Please, tell me who killed her. My lips are sealed. <laughs> How many years? What? How many years has this been going on? Too... Too many. But I didn't kill those women, Bigby. Please, I had nothing, nothing to do with that. I just, I, it just, oh God. We found the photos of you and Lily. I know, I know, that's, that was, I just, I just love you, Snow. I love, I love you, and, and I'm sorry I'm not Prince Charming, okay? I'm sorry I didn't cheat on you and run away to Europe. You don't? Love me, Crane. I know what this is. I've seen it before. It is not love. Bigby? I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? He's not... He wouldn't be brave enough. 
Not to put his stamp on the world like that. We've been chasing this guy. Just, why now? Because, look at him. You said you found evidence of him defrauding Fable Town, of using our money for his own ambitions. That's one thing. But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? We've both known him for so long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? There's nobody else that's even remotely... He's the prime suspect. There is nobody else. But why? Really? Think about it. Everything, everything points to him. And do I have to go down the laundry list? His room, his girl, all his fucking lies. And all of that is perfectly fine, except that there's no real motive. Snow, and I... And no evidence that says anything except he was in the same room at some point in time. He embezzled millions from Fable Town, Big B. That's what I have to care about. And that's enough. I was gonna pay all of that back. It's still evidence. He was in the same room as her. Maybe she found out about his embezzling. Look, I know how badly you want this to be over with. I want it to be over with too. And I have more reason than anyone here to hate him. And I do, and I will, forever. But I want him brought in for what he did to this town, and not killed by you for personal preference. Ichabod Crane, you are under arrest for the misappropriation of Fabletown funds. You have the right to counsel, the right to depose witnesses. And for suspicion of murder. No, Sheriff. This can't be Greenleaf again and again, behaving however you like, acting without constraint. You have to respect this office, Bigby. And you have to respect me as its leader. Starting now. You think you have what it takes to run that office? You think I didn't make sacrifices? I made sacrifices. And you won't be in that chair one minute before you have to give up something you care about just so the wheels don't fall off the goddamn wagon. I did the best I could with what I had. And the town took everything it could out of me. Better save your energy, huh? You're going away for a long time. What are you saying? What you got there? Look, it's recently come under our attention that you're... How shall I put this? Attempting to claim what is the personal property of the Crooked Man. He's about yay high, 120 odd pounds. Pissed his sheets until he was 14. Sound familiar? I haven't told him anything. Not now, not now. Shh. The grown-ups are talking. Who are you? No, 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 no. That's not how this works. How this works is you are going to walk Crane over here. Like a good doggy. It wasn't my fault. Shut up. 
You're interfering with official Fabletown business. Step aside. Tweedledee, what's the, uh, you know, that thing the Mundies call me? What? what? My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Bloody, Bloody Ma Mary. That's it. Thank you. And do you know why they call me that? Because some of them, they think it's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. And I do that for a hobby. Like Bob, to relax. He's in custody, so move your car. I told you he'd never just give him up. Fuck it. Just didn't know when to end. You know, you wouldn't think silver bullets would work on anything but a pure werewolf. But as it turns out, it's just a ridiculous. Right, Wolfie? I mean, hey, look, I know it sounds ridiculous, but really, guys, <laughs> can you argue with these results? Because I know I can't. Wait! Stop! Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Just stop, please. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Snow, don't do this. A 
It's your lucky day, kid. The crooked man says it's okay with him. Hello, Ichabod. Got a stomach ache? Oh, and just between us girls, Crane ain't no killer. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick a pig if his life depended. Nope, not like your boyfriend. Well, this is gonna be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. I'm jazzed about it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long with the queen. I'm sure we'll be in touch. See you around. He's lucky to be alive, and he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. This is getting worse by the minute. We don't have time to sit around and wait for their next move. I'll get things under control. Woody, I'm not gonna tell you again. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. What'd you want to talk about? I just wanted to, um, about last night. When people hear what you did to Dom, they're going to think you've gone back to your old ways. Don't hold out on me, Jack. You've always got some angle. Not this time. I know when a mark's not worth the trouble. Do you? Don't make me come down there to deal with you. I don't want it. You don't want it. <laughs> then again, you don't have much choice at this point. Do you? Thank you. 